What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 16 Sleeper Picks. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you some of my top sleeper picks, super low priced and low ownership players that could crush value this week and give your lineup an advantage over the field. These are risky plays, meant for large tournaments only. Don't go all in on any of these guys. They are high risk, high reward picks. And if you stay to the very end after all my picks and after I show you the draft dashboard tools, I'll give you my super secret sleeper pick that no one's talking about. My week 16 sleeper pick at quarterback is Nick Foles from the Philadelphia Eagles playing the Houston Texans who have the 10th best defense overall, but they're only middle of the pack defending opposing fantasy quarterbacks. Nick Foles scored 10 fantasy points in his first game as the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Stepping in for injured Carson Wentz, Nick Foles had a great rapport with Alshon Jeffrey. And now with another week of practice under his belt, he could be due for a big game. Nick Foles is only 4,700 DraftKings salary. He's 1,300 more on FanDuel projected at 17 fantasy points here in week 16. We know this guy's talented. If you're gonna take a shot on a low salary quarterback, I think Nick Foles is the best option. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. And then you can see the top point production, target monsters, rushing monsters, and the recent performance. So you can see who's overperforming and maybe due to crash, and you can see who's underperforming and maybe due to smash. My week 16 sleeper pick at running back is Jordan Howard from the Chicago Bears playing the San Francisco 49ers, who are the sixth worst defense overall, and they give up the 12th most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Jordan Howard has scored 15, 14, and nine fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 10.3 fantasy points per game on the season. He gets one to two pass targets a game and 15.4 rush attempts per game. He got 19 rush attempts the last two games, and Jordan Howard is still only 4,300 DraftKings salary. He's 1,700 more on FanDuel. I love that DraftKings price. Projected at 10.8 fantasy points here in week 16, so you're getting near 20 touches per game for only 4,300 DraftKings salary. Not a big fan of the FanDuel price, but absolutely Jordan Howard on DraftKings versus the San Francisco 49ers here in week 16. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. My week 16 sleeper pick for wide receiver is Taylor Gabriel from the Chicago Bears playing the San Francisco 49ers who are the sixth worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Taylor Gabriel has scored six, five, and four fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 10.2 fantasy points per game on the season. He gets an average of 6.1 targets per game Taylor Gabriel is 4,400 DraftKings salary. He's 600 more on FanDuel, projected at 8.4 fantasy points here in week 16. Fantastic matchup for Gabriel. I don't mind stacking Jordan Howard with Gabriel, or you can play them separately. I think both players are great value here in week 16 versus a bad San Francisco defense. My week 16 sleeper pick at tight end is Blake Jarwin for the Dallas Cowboys playing the Tampa Bay Bucks who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Blake Jarwin has scored nine, 13, and two fantasy points in the last three games, and he got seven targets in the last two games. Blake Jarwin is only 3,000 DraftKings salary, He's 1,700 more on FanDuel, projected at 4.2 fantasy points here in week 16. It's a dart throw pick because he's going to have to find the end zone to hit value, but the matchup is great 
and he scored well the last two weeks. So I think he's worth rolling the dice with here in week 16 versus a bad Tampa Bay Bucks defense. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You've unlocked the bonus content. My super secret sleeper pick for week 16 is Mohamed Sanu for the Atlanta Falcons playing the Carolina Panthers, who have the 10th worst defense overall, and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Mohamed Sanu has scored seven, 11, and seven fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 10.3 fantasy points per game on the season. He gets 5.4 targets per game. He got six targets last game and eight the game before that. Mohamed Sanu is 4,400 DraftKings salary, He's 900 more on FanDuel. I really like that DraftKings price. Projected at 10.6 fantasy points here in week 16. Fantastic matchup for Mohamed Sanu, who should be able to take advantage of a bad Carolina defense here in week 16. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for week 16. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.